Hello everyone, welcome back to the Doing It Easy channel. Uh, today we are going to play a little more around with the Z Grid view. As you, as you can remember, I think two lessons back, we added another column to here, which is the brands column. Uh, brands column. Uh, so we want to show that brands column in this grid view. Uh, so to do that, it's fairly simple. Go to our modules, item master, and the views file. Views file of items and the admin. Okay. Now, so we have to add the brands column. Brand, brand ID, copy that and paste it here. Let's go and do. Yeah, right there. Brand's ID. Now, this is not actually this is not what we want. We want the name of the brand's brand ID. We want the name of the brand's brand ID to show. We want the doing it is in name, the e name to show up here. So to do that, as you can remember, we did a we created a foreign key for this and the foreign key generated as a relationship brands brand which belongs to the brands table so with the use of this relationship we can get at the name of the brand pretty easily to do that in a grid view all you have to do is go to the admin.php and type out the name of the relationship brand brand I think that is the name of the relationship. Brand, brand, yeah. And a period, a full stop, uh, and the name of the column which we want. The name of the column we want is brand table. We want the brand name column. So copy that and paste it here. And let's check it out. There you go, doing it. Easy. We got the brand name. So that is how you use the relationship in a great view. Uh, in a great view, it is always you can get it, uh, not can get it, actually get the value attribute with the period mark, not with the not with this mark. Okay. Okay. There's a small, small, small lesson. Uh, I'll get. I'll come. You will expect more lessons coming up. Have a great day and please subscribe to my channel uh, and have, have fun with you. Okay, bye bye.